coming in slow as well. It's coming in. That's bending that rod, mate. Oh, wow. Yeah, mate. Wow. What you got there, mate? Well, it's Christmas night and what better way to spend the night than tying a few pre-made rigs ready for Hollyhead Breakwater on Boxing Day. Here we go. It is Christmas Day night and I am sat in the utility. This is my little room now. For now, anyway. <laughs> Basically, what I've done there is washed all my gear right out. Because after a while it starts to stink and the wife don't like it. So that's just a load of end tackle and stuff which I've got to sort out. Got my Tronics Pro rig bag here and what I've got here now is all my hooks ready to go in there. I've tied a few rigs for tonight. A little rass rig ready to go there. A couple of flappers in there. And right on the front I've got my pulley panels ready for the next session which you shall be seeing shortly. So I've tied them ready to go. Jobs are good and in there. I've got all my beads, all my swivels. Little crimps and stuff in there, and in the bottom of here, I've got all my lines. Forget me not, <laughs> what a brilliant name! But that is brilliant, memory free. So I've got that at 30 pounds, I've got that at 20 pounds, and this is the one I absolutely love. This is what I mainly use 60 pounds, asshole leader, absolutely brilliant, as you can see there, for shot leaders and rig making. And in the bottom of here now, it smells like a woman's handbag. Absolutely lovely. I basically just washed everything right down, cleaned my scissors, cleaned everything. Basically, even my leads have had a good wash tonight and my little, uh, my little light. Brilliant little light that clips on the top of your phone. It's just handy in case I do lose light. I've got that ready to go. But yeah, all set up, ready for holly head. So I'm going to chuck all this back in here now. As quickly as I can, like that. Get that back in there. But yeah, that Tronics Pro Rig bag is brilliant. I love it. It's quite weighty, so it doesn't blow around in the wind. Plop her in there. Like I said, I've got all my stuff here. Just send little end tackle bits, basically. So just wash them all out and dry them all. Um, it is crucial when you do see fish. Most of you will know, like, but when you do fish, see fish, you've got to look after your gear, service your gear quite often. Because all the salt water will corrode all inside there and stuff. And especially with your reels, if it gets inside there, inside your bearings, you might as well put your reel in the bin. But look after your gear and it'll look after you. Anyway, I'm done for the night. Time for home alone. Ah, and a bit of Christmas snake crackers. Beautiful. Don't forget me dog. Crackish, aren't you, mate? Crackish. <laughs> We're walking to the end of that breakwater, which is 1.6 mile, I'll have you know. 1.6 mile? 1.6 mile. Are you for real? I'm going to walk 1.6 mile and then 1.6 mile back. For a 1.6 inch long whiting? Yeah, can't be bad. Well, that's fishing for you, <laughs> isn't it, eh? That's fishing right to the end. Yeah, I've done worse for 1.6 inch. Isn't it, no, John? This part here? Yeah. I'm sure you caught your bass from here. Yep, Newbury. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Yeah, come on. On a, a full, look. on a full oh, mackerel. Look, there's, there's, uh, there's a full line of people up fishing. Is it down here? Is that? Yeah, yeah down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Mr. Bassman's here. Oh, we've got to walk to the end of that bright water. Look how far it is, and it goes around the corner again. Oh, it's going to be a rough session, this. Da 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 da. da. It was down there. It wasn't was it? right there, just by where we park here, you know. And if you ain't seen the bass before. Here it is! Here it is, is now! <laughs> it was here. behind me, so I'm going to have to pull it up on the curb. Yeah, we'll just drive through, mate, it's fine. Yeah, have to pull it up on the curb. Oh, no, oh, no. Watch your, oh, watch no. your things, boys. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it was about where that little blackbird is there. It's just flew off, see him? Oh, no. See where he is? Right there, because that's where you netted it, wasn't it? Yep. That is where you And now this car stops here, now we want to stop. Yeah, so you were around this point, weren't you? Yeah. No, I was down there. Just where, just to the left oh, yeah, of that yeah, bird, down yeah? That, right down that point there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, now we've got to walk all the way to the end of that bright water. Which right is, to which... the end. So you start over here, which I'll show you in a minute. And you keep walking up, walking up, walking up, all the way. 
to that point there. And then round the corner to the left of the lighthouse. That's it, yeah, there is a bend there. How long is it, Mike? Too far, but 1.6. <laughs> 1.6 mile. <laughs> it's a long yeah, this, way this is where the big bass was from. Just in case you didn't see it, here it is. Here it is. Here, here, here it is. Hey! <laughs> For those of you who don't know, right up here now, it says here, private property, no vehicles beyond this point, but we're going through. No one ever normally, it's, it's never locked that gate. It's an old, it's an old building. I don't even think it's used much anymore. But where all these people are down here, this is where we park. We'll unload the tackle out and then we'll start our 1.6 mile journey right to the end of the breakwater. Get any closer, because I'm not parking there, because that's an extra 30 meters. We've got to walk, every little helps with this. But we're all right. Oh, There's this, the, it says no boats or whatever. No. It says there are no vehicles beyond this point, but we'll be all right tucked in behind here. John, watch your feet when you get out, mate, because there is a few puddles there. Come on, John. Ah. Get that barrel loaded, boy. Born, mate. What have you done, mate? What have oh, you done? Really <laughs> How are you, Joe? Bella. All right, mate. Hey, what have you got here, John? No bivvies around here, Mosh. No bivvies around here, Mosh. <laughs> no bivvies around here. <laughs> There's no, no cod around here either, is there? Or is there? Is there any cod? Well, you can't even see it, but we're going all the way down here, all the way across there and back through. I'll zoom in now on our chosen destination, right on the very end over there. I, whoa, me crisps! Oh, no! I told you, the wizard of Oz, the storm's coming down, you can see Dorothy there in a minute. Oh, God. Oh, everything's gone. Oh dear. Oh, come on then, as quickly as you can now, boys. I'm going to stand here and uh, tap my feet. Come on. Oh, yeah. You're doing all the work, mate. He has to push that, doesn't he? I know. He can't push it because he's had a beer. He's had about 10 beers. And I'm the designated driver. Am I going to push it? Nah, we're all right. We're going for this little thing here. This little lovely contraption here. Jerry's going to commence in about five minutes. We'll see you on the end. But hey, I'm wearing off. Joe. Oh, he's away here. What the Designated driver today. We're, we're, we've got a sus, me and you, haven't we, John? Yeah. Hey, look at him. Off he goes. Mike's driving. Joe's camera man. And I'm going to keep going. He's going <laughs> I'm to filming. Oh, 1.6 miles. It's commencing. We've done. Not point three. Yards so far. <laughs> we are right on the end over there. Joe's getting sold off already. <laughs> Just like remember this one time in Pat Cadets. Now <laughs> oh, look at the state of the surf on this. We must be mad. We must be mad. Look at this. That's what you want, though. A bit of a surf, though, don't we? Sorry about the wind if it's pretty bad. As you can tell, we've got about 40 mile an hour winds at the moment, but steering a place up. Look at that. Yes, here we go. Wow, look at that. That's got to be about 15 foot wave, that. Woohoo! Yeah! They say when you're so excited going to fishing and you're making your way to the mark, are we going to be victorious with how happy we are? Or are we going to walk back to that car later on like this? Probably not. We've got loads of bait tonight. Um, I've got a load of fresh prawns and stuff like that as well. Well, I wouldn't say fresh, like but big tiger prawns. We've got loads of crab, loads of mackerel. We've got loads of bait, so we're going all out today. Joe's over here now, look at him, God bless him. Still pushing up. That's fishing for you, look at that. But yeah, that is a beautiful spot. But we're not fishing that side tonight. I know from looking at my depth map, which I'll show you now, all on this side, it's called like sandy gravel, according to what I've seen anyway. There's a bit of depth to it, but hopefully we're going to be fishing over at that point. Um, I would fish that today. I'm not, don't get me wrong, it is a good mark, but I want to be in that, in the actual swelly part, where everything's going to be churned up, battered around, and hopefully the fish are feeding like. Um, but yeah, in it to in it, I suppose, in it to in it. Like I say all the time, I wouldn't catch it on my couch, would I? And if you don't know, and that beach over there is where that guy, Gamekeeper John, caught this pass 
and I'll show you it again because what a hell of a bass that was. But if you don't know, now you know! Better get a jog on, they've got miles ahead of me. Right, that's enough boring you now. I'll see you on the end. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Come on, Sammy! You just hold him down, don't look at me! It's like Laurel and Nardy, this. <laughs> the effort we put in, people, that deserves a subscribe, yeah? Hey! Plug it! We've made it! We've made it! She's flashing ready for us. Look at this little. Give me a note! Give me a dick! Give us a card! Look at this, this is where we are. So John's gonna be on this side, he's gonna have one down here. I'm gonna put one down here and send one straight out into that lot. It is two hours till low water, so we're not rushing around at the moment. But look at this spot here. You've got that there. You know what that's screaming for, don't you? All the way along there, conga donga. So, one of my rods is gonna be on a conga rod down here, and it's gonna be on a, a running rig, which I'll show you in a bit. But, it's looking good. Very, very choppy. We're in it. Here he is, here he is. Joe's food, smashed yeah. in my box. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's about to start munching away now, but yeah, we're here now anyway. Um, let's get the rigs out, and let's get fishing! Hey! Hey guys! Hey! Quick. Check this out. Right, we are literally a few hours before high anyway, and there's just pretty much like that much water down there, so I thought I'll take the time here to sort from my bait. Now what we got here is literally a bag <laughs> full of bait which has been in the freezer in and out god knows how many times so i'm going to use it up tonight we have got some fresh frozen crab and stuff and i've got some big black tiger prawns there which i'm going to fish on a few um so i've got basically what i've done so far is i've tied a couple of uh, sausages up so i've just banded that i've dcl'd it ready to go that's got to be one bait next one there's a peeler crab in there with a bit of squid and now what I'm going to do here is just show the guys who don't know what I do. What we've got here is a little baiting tool. Also normally call, called between us lot is the Cordy tool. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm get the back of the squid there like that. Plunk it in the tool like that. Next, I'll get my crab, which is a softy there, which I've cut straight down the back of the crab. And then I'll add, just for a bit of extra scent, bit of lug. There's going to be a nice big-ish bait this ready to go. So there we go. Now that's loading in the tool like that, I'll just push it in a bit. Get your bait elastic. Find the end. If I can. So you get your bait elastic like this. Start at the top or at the bottom, either or. So what I like to do first is work it down like that, just to get it all in. And you know what I'll do then? i just bring it back up without doing that basically, because it's all knotted, look at that. Anyway, we're out. But yeah, bring it back up like this. All the way up the bait, making sure that all that bait is well and truly tucked in there. And because there will be a lot of crabs and big spider crabs, I'll just put a bit more on tonight, just to make sure. So i wrap that all the way down there. A few more for good luck, like that. Snap that off, ready to go. And what you do, you get your thumb at the top, like this. Right. And then you pull that off there, ready to go. And it's one juicy bait, that. Surely, if there was a cod about, or any fish within that vicinity, that, that would go, like, to be fair. That would be a bite, but... Uh, yeah, Happy days. Can I switch your camera over there, mate? Yeah, go on. Because, boom! Oh, Look at that! Here we go, right on cue! Look at that! Right, I don't know if you can make this out, but right out to there, you've got the waves breaking all the way across. So what you've got here is a, is a really shallow part of the beach. But Joe, on his first cast, had a big snag. 
eye snapped off, but you can see the waves breaking over it there. So, we've got a plan. Basically, on the actual lighthouse here, on the main run, we plan on just chucking a, a couple of rods each out um, for an hour. Obviously, we are well early, That's it's still pulling out, uh, but John's just snapped two leads straight away on his first cast, so uh, it's not looking good. I think it's got to be rotten bottoms, but I haven't got light line on me. But yeah, we're going to have a chuck up there, right on the back wall, and we're just going to chuck it, take a couple of baits up, just take minimalistic gear up, and we're going to have a chuck now, so I'll see you when we're up there. Oh my goodness gracious me. Like I said before, with all that wind and the uh, the rock and everything around there, there was three, three casts, three snags, three snaps. Um, but we've literally, there's the lighthouse there, right up there. We are fishing right at the point of the breakwater. I brought a little pot of bait up with me, just a couple of baits there ready to go. We are going to have a quick chuck off here now. Um, just for like an hour, just to see how snaggy it is out here. If it's not too bad, we'll bring it in. Um, we might fish it, to be honest with you, but we'll see how we go. Put a little rotten bottom on there, so I've got a really light line at the bottom there. So it's swiveling, that's to be made to do then. How are we getting battered from all angles here? Look at the seat, we're saving private Ryan. Get down, get down. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sat on the rod here now, literally. Over it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, we're trying. Right, I've just come back down now because obviously we've got all the gear out here. Um, so I don't obviously want it blowing in or anything. So John's just had the doggy up the top there. Joe's up there now, like we're on his first cast. And I've come back down here and I've just chucked in now. But as we've chucked in, I took straight out there and it's pretty much down there now anyway. So it's going to be tough. but See if we can wink one out of here while we're waiting. What? What? Drop net, oh my god, drop net, drop net. John's just screamed at me, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh no. I, I think he's just, I don't know what's going on, but he's kicking off here. He's kicking off, he's not good. What was it? I didn't see it, I was trying to get up on the wall, mate. Very big. Big, mate, I've got it on video, Joe Film. I'm like that, it's pulling, I cannot handle it. So have lucky hands. <laughs> what's just happened, mate? It's fishing on that big bait, I don't know what's happened with it. I, was, I filmed the bite as well, I just put the phone on, I said I'm up here on my own now, Joe's down the corner. I'm gonna put the effort in, I'm here on my own. As I put the camera on the rod, it's got a bump, bump, I've hit it. Straight away I've said, Joe, big fish, I need help, I need help. And then the rod's literally gone like that. And Joe's gone, drop net, get the drop net. And then all you're going is, doggy! <laughs> No, I wasn't even saying doggy. Oh, no, I was saying I'm coming now. I, I, I basically had to say, I had my rod in. I'm getting my rod in. And I was running over there to get the drop net, but my, my rod was in, you see. I'm fishing. Put it that way, I just reeled that dogfish in quite easily. Lifting quite heavy, like, yeah. Heavy. This fish, the rod, mate, was like that, yeah? Yeah. Right over. And it's not Joe's recorded it. I'm like that, and I'm reeling in, getting line. Just going and getting line. Jesus, Jack, can we move up there, then? I don't know if that could have been conga, puss... Anything big you don't know. don't know, but that, that was not a dog fish. Big fish. That was a big fish. What are we doing? We heading taking the gear up. Well, I think what I might fish, do, well, that's two fish very quickly there. It's rough up there to spend the night, so my plan was I have a few hours first, first now. Here, yep. Like base. Yeah. And every now and then going and have 20 minutes half hour up there. Coming back have a little chuck like yeah. Having 20 minutes up there every now and then. Coming yep. back. Yeah. Makes and sense. And leave leave the leave the leave everything here, so we just pop up there. We'll go Jesus. up in pairs, yeah, yeah. need to film or drop net or Yeah, somewhere. well me and you will go up in a minute, we'll get Joe down here. I'll fish down here, the one the one that stays down here with gear should fish this for a bit. Yeah, and then the mate, two up there should fish that, so. Mate, you know, but we're going to need the drop net up there, aren't we? I tried to get Big up fish. on the wall, I couldn't Big get fish, up in yeah. these. I was like, I need to get up, I need to see it. I was like that, yeah, and I was like... Jesus. <sighs> the squid and... But that's a good sign, that's within 10 minutes, that, isn't it? If yeah. that... Yeah, two, two casts, no snags. Caught a fish, lost a fish, two two cast two fish on. Come on, John, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Come on, let's go. Come on. Moving stations. We've had enough down here. <laughs> Hi ho! It's off to the top we go. It's absolute carnage. The wind is just absolutely hammering us. The pods are going over, the rods are going over. It's hard to even detect the bites at the moment because the rods are like this. The hubs will be strangling me. Yeah, I'm going to bring this one in now, put a big bait on it. Just a 
big sausage baked in there, get it out there and hopefully pick something up really quick like. Oh, this is so hot! <laughs> this is just really, really hard to have, guys. Really. Yeah. Snap me! Oh, no! I think I might have been big. Let's see if that rock bottom is hold. I don't, I don't know if it will have. Don't even take it out at all. Oh no. Yes. Get in. I've got my rig, so me, me rotten bottom there on the bottom is working. So at least I'm pulling my rigs back, so that's a good sign anyway. So I'm not losing rigs, I'm just losing leads, but uh just got a little foot rotten bottom there, so if it does get stuck, that's what happens basically, so we're good. What you see here is me holding the rod. Basically the conditions are that tough, it's hard to register a bite. So by holding the rod, I'm feeling the line there, as you can see. And that was a nod I needed to rip the fish. Oh, yeah. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on, John! Fish on, fish on! Fish on, feels decent as well. It feels decent. Stop on the baby about to go. Come on, John, all day. Give it up the wall. Oh, no, no, no. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Doggy! Doggy, doggy, doggy! Oh, yes, mate. Yes. Oh, that was. Oh, oh get in. Little uh, doggy. Uh, Do you know what? That was. Oh, that doggy was probably the hardest fish I've ever caught in my life. The conditions we're fishing at the moment is just. It's very tough, as you can see. But. Snoop Doggy has saved the blank. Come on! That'll do. That's a bite. The problem we've got here tonight, guys, is because the wind is that bad, the rods are constantly doing this. It's hard to register the bites. It's like I thought I had a bite then. I'm like, is it though? Is it just the wind? I don't know. It is a hard one to call. Got me doggy rash anyway. <laughs> They're going to be sore in the morning there. Two fish on here. John's got one. Joe's got one. Come and assist you, Joe. You got one, mate? Just come off, has it? Ah, oh, Joe's just come off. John's has just come off as well. <laughs> that was that was two double bites quickly. It's the third one going to go as well. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just absolutely not here. Let me let me take you around here in the wind, then you'll you'll fully understand what it's like. Well, this is it, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Look at it, howling in it is. <laughs> oh my God, you can't see me. Where here I am. Well, yeah, look at that. It's just. Yeah, I'm off. I'm gone. I'm back in the shelter. I'm gone. I'm going. Absolute carnage in it, John. Right. <laughs> look at him. He's regrouping there. There's oh, it's not. It's not. There's rubbish going everywhere. We keep putting it in the bags. Yeah, put it in that one, mate. That one will do. <laughs> We keep putting it in the bags, the next minute it's blowing here and oh, it's absolute carnage. That's it, <laughs> Joe's bag. But yeah, we'll have a walk around in a bit as well after we've fished and just make sure we collect all our rubbish and stuff because us anglers should be doing that, we should. Uh, but we are collecting as we go. Oh, it's nuts, could be onto a bite here. Could be onto a bite, could be onto a bite. Right, I think we're gonna witness one. I wasn't sure whether it was going before or not. So I'm gonna witness one and rebate it anyway. Like I say before, it's that nutty and you can't even 
eventually it'll bite from the wind and the surf. Well, I can tell you that's a snag. That's a snag. Yep. No, 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 don't put it out, don't put it out, I need that. Right. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to give myself a minute. I'm going to regroup the stuff around me because it's everywhere. And I've got to uh, tie a bit of fresh bait. Like. Do I? Don't I? Look at that for the big king prawn. Well, that's the size of my hand. Do I put a big king prawn on and send it out? Do do do. Yeah, come on in. Right, so I've had a little pre-group. Well, I haven't had the plate, so I've been thinking of back up the elements for half an hour just to get this brawn on. Oh, God. Well, here we go. Got a king prawn there, ready to go out. Doing everything we can to catch this cod. Oh, come on. Right guys, as you see here, we've got a brown crab, also known as the edibles. What we're unsure of is if there's a law now at this time of year or whatever time of year to stop anglers as they catch a crab like this, whether you can use them as bait or not. If you can let me know in the comment sections below, I will be very grateful. Thank you. But this guy went straight back. Well, there's John, guys. There's John. He's having a lovely chill there. How are you, mate? 18 hours up already, so he's having a little kip. There we go. Another little doggy. Took me big bait then. Within seconds, that was. And it was uh, the rod was uh, bouncing in the surf, and I thought, that's a bit funny how much that's bouncing to the left and the surf's going to the right. And yeah, I've got a little doggy there, so I'm. Uh, I'm going to get him back in now. We'll find his bigger brother. We'll keep fishing for that cod. That'll do. Doggy, 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 doggy. Oh, 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 oh. Where the <laughs> are the coddy? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, you want to see the state of this pull here. Look at that pull on that rod. We are about two hours off height as well, and that's just ripping round. If it wasn't for my box on there like that holding out, that rod would be in. But that pull is horrendous man. Don't know what we're gonna do here. I really don't know what we're gonna do here, because that was only like a 20 yard chuck. And it's pulling us right down to the left down here. I mean I'm casting like over that direction and we're down here for seconds. But uh it's not looking good. Here we go, here we go, definite fish. That's nodding like mad. Yeah, that's definitely a fish. 
Just look at that rod, that is literally bent double there. The swell out there is horrendous, but we all know that the, the decent fish will like the swell anyway, but um, yeah, oh wow, look at that. We'll fish it for a bit, we'll see how it goes. I say we are two hours off high, so we shouldn't really be pulling that way, so I think the reason why it's probably pulling that way is probably because it's coming into the harbour and doing like a circle, come back out, because there's too much water going in. That's my theory, basically, but um, yeah, we'll fish on through it for a bit and just see how we get on. Because obviously they're still they're still biting, you know, they're still taking the bait. Obviously just missed that one then, but yeah, they were definitely solid little nods they were then, so. <sighs> in it to win it. Get ready for this carnage about to unfold. This wow. is bloody brilliant. Joe's into Watch a good this fish over here. Conga. I'll show you on John's footage later on, but. I don't know if we can uh, zoom in on there now for you. It's just said uh, it's possible. Decent fish, yeah? Joe's into something good here. Mate, this looks decent, this one. Looks decent, mate. It's coming in slow as well. It's coming in. That's bending that rod, mate. This could be a drop netter, you know. Yeah. Very, very heavy. This. Oh wow. Yeah, mate. I'm gonna wash my rod down. I need to keep my phone in your pocket. Joe, I'm coming, I'm coming down, mate. This looks good, right? Just be careful, lad, yeah? That's a good fish, that jaw thing. Just be careful, boys, yeah? What you got there, mate? That's whacking that rod over. That's got to be something decent, mate, yeah? Can't see anything yet, mate. Oh, that's proper roof in that. Oh, it's an eel, it's an eel, it's an eel. It's, it's an eel, yeah. I'm going to hold your leg, mate, just in case, yeah. Back a bit, Joe. 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 Back a Yes! Yes, Joe! Yes, Joe. Yes, mate. Right, hold on, boys. Oh, I've just had a big yeah. bite on my rod. I've just had a big bite. Oh, yes! Yes, Joe! Oh, mate, give it to you, mate. Give it to you. I think that one's always pulling on that. Oh, mate. Good angling. Yes, Joe. Joe, put it there, mate. Good angling. Yes, Joe. Oosh. What was that on the flapper as well, was it? Just what, there, flopper. A two-hook flopper? Nothing Are you? Look. Wow. It's a single look, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you alright on hooking them? Yeah, yeah. Just watch. Check that for a conga. Well done, Joe. Let's take a look at that. Look at that for scenery. 
Just listening to that roar as we're fishing along. Look at that. What are you doing there, mate? Are you ferry spotting? <laughs> That's something to do, yeah. Ferry spotting. <laughs> it's the best thing we do at the moment, aren't we? Just getting absolutely wiped out. Yeah, very, very tough. So we've resorted to ferry spotting. Left rod's towing round. What do you reckon? Do we call it? No, because we've got an hour walk back and an hour drive. Yeah, that mean it. What time is it now? 20 to 12 now. <coughs> but as far as sessions go, mate, it's been pretty decent. Yeah, it's, it's been a hard one, like, but it's been pretty decent. But here he is, man of the match. Well done, Joe. Hell of a conga, mate. Hell of a conga.